Welcome to the eWay CRM tutorial series. Today, we will have a look at workflows. We will follow up the previous tutorial videos where we learned to customize eWay CRM to your needs. You already know how to activate and deactivate modules, make custom fields, change the layout of individual screens, or customize dropdown menus. Today, we will look closely at a big topic. That is workflow. Workflow is a feature that allows you to automate processes. Each company has developed its best practices, a set of steps everybody needs to follow to get the job done, and such best practices can be automated by a CRM software. Workflow can automatically generate tasks, send email notifications, check whether key documents are attached or whether all required fields are filled in. This way, you can be sure that everyone follows your company rules. Workflows can be customized in EUA CRM and every company can set them up as they want. Workflows are available in many EUA CRM modules, in marketing, deals, projects, tasks, documents, bookkeeping records, timesheets, absences, or bonuses. In all of these, we can implement your best practices and save your time and worries. It can even be more interesting. You can have several workflows in one module. For example, you can make a different workflow for a deal type business opportunity and a different one for a deal type potential customer. Or in projects, you can make a different workflow for delivery and another one for claim. From the last video, you already know that item types can be linked to form layouts. At the end of today's part, you will be able to add one more step and by changing an item type, completely change the look of a form and also generate a different workflow. This way, you will have a software that fits you like a tailor-made suit. In today's episode, we will learn two things, how to customize an existing workflow and how to make a new one. Let's get started. Customization of an existing workflow. If you open any module with workflow, for example, deals, at the top of the screen, you can see the default workflow. It can work for you just great, or maybe you need to rename one status or add a new one or hide one. Let's show you how to do that. The workflow is defined in the old administration settings. You can log in by clicking on the administration center and selecting the old administration settings. When you log in, click on the workflow scheme on the left. A list of existing workflows appear. Highlight the one called deal opportunity and have a look at the list of flows in the main part. Each line represents a transition from one step to another, which can be more customized. We will discuss that later. Now to individual tasks. We start by hiding and renaming statuses. In the top ribbon, click designer and select modify list of statuses. A table appears that allows you to manage the visibility and translations. So if you want to hide a status, simply uncheck the flag visible. If you need to rename a status, feel free to do so. Just click on the requested language column and change it. To create a new status, click on the very last line and enter its name. We recommend that you write in the cell file as because then the value will be automatically copied to all languages. Use the up and down buttons to put it to the right position and we are done. Click OK to save everything. Now, when we open a new deal, we can immediately see that all the changes have been reflected. The status proposal has disappeared. The name of the new phase has changed to not started and the step sample has been added. But the new step is gray, which means that it's not possible to go to it. We have forgotten to take one important step and that is to connect it to the other statuses. Let's do it now. Switch back to the administration settings and click on the button Create New Flow. Choose Initial in the parent status and Sample in the child status. Then finish the wizard. Don't worry about the other settings. We will go through them later in this video. When you open a new deal, you will see that the status sample is now green and you can access it. Let's do it and save the deal. Sample will become blue, which means that this status is now active. Wait a second, the other statuses are gray again. Why? Well, because we must set up the flows again, so let's get to it. This time in the wizard, select sample as the parent status and not started as the child status, and again, click through the wizard to the end. When we click on the refresh button in our deal, 
we'll see that the not started status is green. We can go there. This way, we can define the rest of the flows. Parent status represents the starting point and child status the end point. Of course, some of the flows make a lot of sense, others don't. For example, some companies do not allow employees to move from the not started to the sample without passing the status qualification first. You don't want to lend your expensive equipment to a company just like that. Creating a new workflow. If you need to make a brand new workflow, you must first create a new item type, in our case, project type. And that's what you learned about customizing drop-down menus in the last video. Today, let's just do it very quickly. Administration Center. Customizations. Drop-down menus. Projects. Type. Open it and create a new type. For example, my new workflow. And save it. Now open a new project in Eway CRM to make sure that the new type is there. So far, so good? Now switch to the old administration settings to the workflow scheme. There will be a new button on the Home tab. Press it. A small window appears where you write the name of your workflow and select the module in which you make the workflow, in our case, projects. Also, choose the project type you want to associate the workflow with. That is the one we've just created. As you click OK, you get a small window where you can design the individual statuses. Again, we recommend entering values in the cell File As. Then, the status names are nicely copied into all languages, and we will only edit the translations that are used in your company. When done, click OK, and let's create flows. We know what to do, design and create new flow. In our video, we will go step by step from the status A to B, from B to C, and from C to D. Remember that first, we need to create a flow from status initial to the status A. Otherwise, we couldn't select the status A when creating a new project. So, from initial to A, and hit next. On the following screen, you can define the user roles that have the permission to perform this transition. Maybe you want the project to be created only by project managers or also by sales reps. Hit next, which takes us to the holy grail of workflows, actions. At the beginning of the video, we said that a workflow can generate tasks, send emails, or check whether users have filled in the required fields. Let's define the last of the mentioned actions, check for mandatory fields. Let's imagine that we want users to fill in a project name, customer, and contact person. This type of action is called before save action because it is performed before the project is actually saved to the database. Now click on the add action and select database field is not empty. Choose a name, for example, project name, and click next. Here, we need to write the name of the field as it is saved in the eWay CRM database. A little trick helps us here. Open a new project and click into the field name. Now press the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F1. A small tooltip appears with the field database name. Rewrite it into the administration settings, including uppercase and lowercase letters. And click Next and Finish. Let's try it again for the field's customer and contact person. This time we will help you. The fields are called customer and contact person. Otherwise, you would press Alt plus F1 again. Once done, click on the wizard and let's open a new project. You can see that the field's name, customer, and contact person are red. That means mandatory. Similarly, you can create other workflow actions. We definitely recommend looking at our documentation at kb.eway-crm.com. There are some good examples. Alternatively, give us a call. Our consultants practically always help companies set up the workflow according to their needs. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, you can like it on YouTube. If you wish to learn more about Eway CRM, you can also visit our blog or social networks. You can also contact us at support at eway-crm.com. We are ready to help you.
Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. And don't forget, be effective with eWay CRM.